Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, Luis sells chocolates to raise money for a foundation. The following graph shows the amount of chocolate sold, X, and the amount of money raised, X. Which of the following describes the money raised by the sales of chocolate? So let's see if we understand the question. If you notice in this problem, there's no table, right? Uh, there's a graph, okay? And within the problem, they are letting you know who's going to be X and who's going to be Y. So let's go back to the question right there. So it says the chocolate that they sell is going to be X and the money that they're raising is Y, okay? So let me, I'm going to change the color so that we know there's two different things here, right? So this is the money raised. So notice how in the graph, we already have those two labels, right? X is the number of chocolates and Y is the money that they're raising, okay? So be careful with that. Now, so what the question is asking me to find is, what is it that it can describe the money raised by the chocolate? And the answer choice, this is talking about like per chocolate. So what does it mean by per chocolate? Okay, so anytime that you see the word per or each, it means one. Very good. I want to know how much money are they raising for every chocolate that they sell. Is that right? And if I was to think about from that point of view, I would think about one, which is right here. One chocolate. But then notice how when you go up, the point is not exactly on a whole number. So I don't want to use that point. You got to find points that are exactly on the intersection of two whole numbers. Is that right? So let's see if we can find any of those numbers. So one, I'm not sure that I like that number two. It's kind of like halfway in the middle. See how two is somewhere over here? So no, that's not a good one. How about three? Go all the way up. Still not that great, right? How about four? Four looks more like in my intersection of two lines, right? And if you notice at the beginning, there's the origin, okay? So now I have two points that I can actually use. So my points will be zero and zero, and the other point will be four and nine, okay? So let's write my labels here. So this will be x of one and y of one. This will be x of two and y of two, okay? So how do I know that I'm supposed to be looking for a slope? Is that right? Because you're trying to find out how much are they actually raising, how much money per chocolate. And remember, that's kind of like the rate of change. Is that right? So let's circle my y values. And my formula says m equals y of 2 minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. Okay, so I am going to subtract y of 2, it's 9 minus 0, over 4 minus 0. So I will get 9 over 4 because remember, that's like taking away 0 from, it doesn't make any difference, right? So what's 9 divided by 4? If you write it in the car, if you put them in the calculator, you will get 2.25. So what does the 2.25 represents? Okay. Now remember that 2.25 is my Y. So that's the money that they raise for every chocolate. And it kind of makes sense because look, when the chocolate is one, and I look at the number here. What point is there? It seems like it is 2.25 because it's not close to the 3. It's actually closer to the 
two. Okay, so I'm looking for how much money are they paying for one for each chocolate? How much money are they raising? And let's look at my question here. So I want to know how much money they raise for sale of the chocolate, right? So they will raise two dollars and twenty-five cents per chocolate. Very good. You know that we can create a table to show the relationship between the number of chocolates sold and the money raised. Is that right? So let's consider making a table here where X is going to be the chocolate that they're selling. Is that right? And the Y is going to be the money that they raise. So according to the question, it says if they sell one chocolate, they will get $2.25. And we're going to got that already on the graph. What about if they sell two chocolates? How much money would that be? Well, double the number. That would be $4.50. So I want you to look at the two on the number of chocolates and go all the way up until you find the line. What number? It's right there. That seems to me that it could be a 4.5. So I'm just doing the table to double check that my numbers on the table are matching the numbers on the uh, on my graph. Is that right? So yes, the, the money that they raise per chocolate will be $2.25.